Hi Church family, welcome to St Luke's News. As you partner with us in Gospel Growth this week, be assured that your continued financial partnership in the Gospel is helping us fulfil our vision of sharing the good news of Jesus. A few months ago, we upgraded the computer which runs our online gathering each week. Having a well-running online gathering has not only helped us stay connected, but has also helped 18 people visit St Luke's while we've been gathering online. We want everyone at St Luke's to grow in prayerful dependence. So join us at our revival prayer meeting. Use the link on the church website at 11.15 and 6.15 each Sunday as we ask the Lord Jesus to send His Spirit to revive us and our suburb and to bless our commitment month. We'll be returning to in-person gatherings on Sunday, 7th of November. The usual rules will apply. Masks, no singing, physical distancing, and the four meter squared rule is back. So if you can, please come to our 5 p.m. gathering so that there's enough space at 10 a.m. We'll also continue our 10 a.m. Zoom service for those who are unable to be with us in person. The state government will be allowing both vaccinated and unvaccinated people to attend places of worship, so there will be no need for you to show your vaccination status. You should have received your Commitment Month pack in the mail this week. During October, set aside an hour, make yourself a cuppa, and ask the Lord what it would look like for you to give generously in time, energy, and money to His mission in 2022. There are two pre-addressed return envelopes, or you can use the QR code, which will take you to an online form. All your financial responses are anonymous, and we hope this anonymity will give our whole church confidence to return forms as we will shape our budget around the commitment month responses we receive. As you pray about how to practically serve in 2022, keep in mind that we need more help in our welcoming ministry. This is the second box on your Commitment Month response form. It's true that there are lots of ways to practically serve at St. Luke's, but as we return to in-person gatherings, welcoming is a particularly high priority for us. Finally, we're supporting Operation Christmas Child, this year, you can either pick up a box from out the front of the foyer to pack yourself, or you can pack a box online at the Samaritan's Purse Australia website. I'll add the link in our church news. Here's a little more about Operation Christmas Child. The joy of seeing a child open the boxes for the first time is just, it's incredible. There's squeals and screams, and they're so excited to see what's inside their box. Oh my goodness! Every shoebox gift represents the love of God to them. We are so excited. Many of the children receive the shoeboxes for the first time in their life. We're here with Operation Christmas Child. The kids are so excited. We had the opportunity to hand out some of the boxes. It was so much joy, so much happiness, and it gives us an opportunity to present the gospel. We pray that these boxes will be used to bring a lot of happiness and joy, but more importantly, the gospel to each heart, to all these little children around the world. What a great gift. I get a present, I get to know who Jesus is, but not only that, I get to be discipled in His ways. Hundreds of thousands of volunteers work with Operation Christmas Child every year, preparing these boxes, praying for the boxes, that God will use them in a mighty way for His glory. This little shoe box has the opportunity to change the world. Not only are they gonna get a shoe box, they're gonna get the love and the message of Jesus Christ. Some go by helicopter, some go by ship, some go by camel, donkeys, canoes. We go at great lengths to take these boxes to children in the most remote parts of the world. And it's an incredible journey. After these children open the box, they have the opportunity to go through the greatest journey, the 12 lesson discipleship program, where they get to learn more about Jesus Christ.
Right now, I'm right outside of Mazlan, Mexico, about six hour drive up in the mountains. This is an indigenous people group, people that never heard the gospel before. The kids and the families that accepted Christ, almost a hundred altogether, have now started a church. Hemos visto una experiencia preciosa, grande, verdad, en el pueblo. Y ese pueblo va a ser el medio para llevar el evangelio a otro lugar. Que estas bendiciones que son de las cajitas sigan llegando hacia arriba y a la montaña. This shoebox gives us an opportunity to continue to shine the bright light of the gospel in the darkest and remote places around the world. We're seeing families come to know Jesus. Churches are sprouting up in these communities. These children are rising up to be disciples in their own country. The gift box and the gospel of Jesus Christ bring hope to our children to bring the smiles back on their faces. No greater need and no greater time than right now for us to go out and serve boldly. This is what these shoe boxes are all about, to go out and bring a hope of Jesus Christ around the world. I'm just so amazed at what God does each and every year. This is an opportunity to impact the lives of millions of children, just like you've seen. But we need more boxes for next year. Every box is an opportunity for us to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. So thank you, and God bless each and every one. Well, that's all from us. We're so glad you could join us online today.